My name is Hans Johnson. I'm a rising senior at WPI, double majoring in mechanical and robotics engineering. This is my second year on the WPI autonomous sailing team. A sailboat can only sail um, up to about 45 degrees off the wind or 30 degrees off the wind. So if we're trying to sail too close to the wind, the boat's going to stall. And so instead we sail farther away from the wind and then tack and, and go back and forth upwind. Our boat used a, it's called an Airmar wind sensor. So it has GPS, um, a six axis IMU, so we can detect the pitch and roll of the boat and the wind direction. Um, and based on the wind direction, we can set our sail angle. And based on the heading we're trying to sail, we can decide whether to tack or not. Teaching the robot how to make those decisions was definitely the most challenging part of this project. Um, and so making sure the mechanical system, electrical, electrical system, and all the control software work properly is a very important part of this challenge, and I think that's representative of, of any smart product. Some of the things I worked on were the winch, um, the keel structure, um, the rudder, um, and then also a structure on the back of the boat that was uh, primarily used to house a couple of the sensors, um, but we also had um, an idea of using it to redirect the winch cable in order to uh, get a little bit more efficiency out of our winch. So in order to do that, we needed to do some um, analysis in SolidWorks in order to make sure that the system would work well um, and that it was designed appropriately to um, meet the specifications that we were giving it. When you see a, a low-cost boat like this, there's definitely a lot of uses for marine research, and that really uh, shows the benefit of robotics for the future. This year, we took a mold that the U.S. Naval Academy donated to us last year and designed our own internal structure and electronics to make an autonomous sailboat. The construction of the hull and the design of the internal structure of the boat was my responsibility. So I used SolidWorks to lay out how all the, the laser cut wooden ribs fit in the boat and to design the structure that supported the mast. So the skills I learned in this project in integrating all the different systems is something I've carried forward into my internships in designing products that both have a mechanical component as a mechanical engineer, but also a control system that lets the system operate on its own with minimal human input. And that's certainly the future of, of products is them operating largely on their own with very little human input, but still assisting people in what they're doing. So this year, our boat did much better than last year. Last year we finished in last place with a poorly performing boat. And this year we managed to just beat out the Naval Academy by half a point to win the competition.